Think of a woman at that time in 1913. She's not considered a United States citizen. She has no right to vote. And she does this remarkable accomplishment of building this structure. Dr. Britt Thedinger is a surgeon who, once upon a time, would not have recognized the name Susan LaFleche Picote. But after being asked to restore a hospital built by Picote, the nation's first Native American doctor, his interest in her peaked. There'll be steps that come down and so there'll be another entrance. Think about living in two different cultures and two different worlds and how to, to work in both those worlds and she did a remarkable job. Susan's father, the last chief of the Omaha. He wanted his children to make a difference, which they sure did. It's interesting at the same year, her older sister Suzette is doing the translation for Chief Standing Bear at his trial in North Omaha, at Fort Omaha. So you can see all the siding and the windows have been restored. We've repainted everything. Where we got the funds? Most of it came from the USDA. The restoration of the hospital is just one part of the restoration of Walt Hill as a whole. We hope to again in the restoration is to once again bring some type of medical, mental health, behavioral health services to the community. Two is to hopefully start a boys and girls club here in Walt Hill. Thirdly is to do some type of arts and culture. And fourthly is to have some type of historical display to honor and tell the story of Dr. Susan. The village of Walt Hill, just below Winnebago, growing back from a population decline. Walt Hill's chairman of the board saying they're doing something about it by funding local business and attracting tourists with this celebrated edifice. The idea that someone like herself and where she came from has established herself uh, in history as somebody who has made a huge impact. He and Thetager now working to raise funds for the final phase, interior restoration, set to be complete in 2023. In Walt Hill for News Channel Nebraska, I'm Carolyn Conti.